Well, we're in the city of Duncan, and I'm here to visit my sweet boyfriend, Adam. Hi. And here I am, and we're just walking around the, the main part of the area. This is, we're basically beside the Trans Canada Highway. Yeah. Yeah, and we're heading to a really good thrift store that I really enjoy looking at. It's called the Good Neighbors Thrift Store. It's a massive thrift store, honestly. It, honestly, God, it's so massive. And every time when I go in there, I, I pretty much always will get something. So I'm gonna, we're gonna go in there. We're, we're basically almost there. And I'll let you know shortly on if I got something or not. So this is the thrift store here. See how big this place is? And the entry is just up ahead. Better wish us luck. Do you think you might get something too? Uh, probably not, I'm not. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. You never hurts to find something if you want maybe, it. Maybe, I don't know though. It's up to you. I know. Oh, take a look at this. <laughs> 21 bucks for this case and all these tapes. Oh my God, you wouldn't believe the, the, all the tapes that there are in that store. There is actually more than just this, but you should have seen how long it took me to sort through all of it, the tapes. There was like, it took me about 10 minutes to sort through all the ones I wanted. And I was like, when I first saw this, I was like, jackpot baby, jackpot baby. <laughs> I just had to text Adam this. And how, how were you when you felt when I told you I wanted jackpot? Uh, I was surprised to see how many tapes you got. <laughs> yeah, this this is what happens babe, when I, I'm in that store. Every time, I would just see several tapes I haven't seen in forever. But now we're just heading to um, Adam's mom's place. Uh, drop all this off and... And also I brought the Nintendo Wii over to this time too, so... Hopefully later we'll have some fun with your mom, Adam, as we play on the Wii. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be sick. <laughs> Wait till my mom reacts. When <laughs> she picks me up later, the next day. Oh, she'll have a lot of choice words. <laughs> well, she's not gonna be speechless, but... <laughs> Little bit of some Wheel of Fortune. 600. There must be some passes. How many? Nice, babe. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Later in the in a separate video, I'm gonna be doing some full games with Adam and hopefully um, with his mom as well. This is this is the um the Weave game of Wheel of Fortune. Yes. Wow, I'm really getting it. Getting by, the, by the way, Adam had a really good start, so. Thank you. Here with Adam right beside me. Hi. And Lyndon. Uh oh, bankrupt. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, babe. Alrighty. How you doing there, Lyndon? Hmm? <laughs> You're my little kid. Hmm. Mm. You have free play? Yep. Where are you going to go? Uh, guess a letter. Do a vowel. Oh, Any vowel would be a good idea. Three A's. Still, yeah, it's People who annoy you. Oh, that. Oh my goodness, that. People who annoy you. I don't annoy you, do I? No. <laughs> don't tickle me. <laughs> I will kick. Don't you kick me. I don't know. I'm just giving you a hard time. It's my job. <laughs> Are you, you're getting ahead already too? Yeah, this is Another one? That's pretty yeah, impressive. Uh, you got it. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> Free play is only good once, so <laughs> this move counts. Uh spin. Five hundred. 
Um, I want to go with... Okay, I'm going to take a shot, but Abby. Oh, I know it. I'm not telling you, though, babe. I know. You can do it yourself if you want to solve it. I'm going to probably get a couple more letters. Oh, oh, garlic mashed potatoes. Oh, no! You <laughs> Did you hear me whisper, babe? I didn't hear you whisper anything. I was just whispering. It's on the camera. I didn't hear you, I swear to God. That's good. Are you solving? Yep, I'm going to solve it. I'm trying to just, you know. Spell it. You can spell potatoes. Yeah, I don't know Potatoes. Think of the toes that you love. That's between me and you, babe, not on your YouTube channel. I know. <laughs> I'm not mad, I'm just saying, like, time and place. Good job, babe. Thanks. You, are you really going to Philadelphia? I've actually never been. Well, I the last time I was actually in the States, I was, like, really little. And I was seeing my mom's friend, who doesn't really seem that interesting. Yeah. Because he's not. Uh, but, yeah, but I'd love to go to the States again one day. Yeah. Well done, babe. Thanks. Guess what? If you want to see an actual re similar type of full game, go watch my deleted scenes at the end of the year when I post them. You'll see something at the end of the year where it talks about Wheel of Fortune. So, just I let you know. So, and we're still playing. Holy, it's my turn. Why, hello, gorgeous. Hi. This is actually an interesting little deck. Actually. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing like fancy, but it, it is nice. Yeah, should I close the door? Uh, probably be best. I mean, the less bugs in the house. Yeah, it. true. Especially at this time of the year. Oh my god, yeah. <sighs> Trying this chair, I guess. At least I got a little leg rest. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry you don't get the little leg rest. <laughs> it's okay. Resting your legs like that. It's comfortable. But at least it's summer. Yeah, I'm I'm actually I love summer really. Me too. I know it seems like I hate the sun. I don't. I'm not a vampire. I'm just that one person that if a, if a certain type of weather happens, like let's say for example, it was sunny for the next 3 3 months. Obviously, mm -hmm. well, um, obviously that's probably going to happen. I'm the kind of person that gets sick of weather really easily, so I always try to find things to do despite that. So, yeah. obviously, where I live now, it's kind of harder, but... But is summer your most favorite season? I feel like it is, yeah. I mean, I love swimming. Yeah. I do need to buy a new pair of swim trucks, though, because the other ones are very, very small on me. But thing was, it was a really, com it was a really nice one, but I, I do need another one, that's for sure. Plus, I need to get a bathing suit because I haven't gone swimming in five years now. And I haven't even had a swimsuit since then, so... I know, babe, you think I'm insane when I say, just say that every time. I was I was surprised to hear that, but at the same time, I wasn't like too surprised because I didn't know whether or not you actually felt comfortable doing that. Because like, when I was younger, I funny, everyone used to call me a fish when I was little because I would just swim all day long. I still do love swimming, just when I was younger. I was really more. I was a lot of, really overweight, so I felt really self-conscious. So for, I think from the I think the whole summer that I was thirteen, I actually didn't really swim much. Maybe once or twice, but that was it. Really? Wow. Um, obviously I'm more. I like. I know for. I know that I'm not going to be. You know, like six pack. You know, rock and oh, I just chugged like forty ounces of fuck whatever this whey drink is. I'm not. I'm not like that. I love the body that I have now, and I wouldn't change anything. Yeah, I have curves. Yeah, yeah I have a few extra pounds. So what? Everyone, yeah, everyone's beautiful in their own way. Yeah. Except for Trump, because let's face it, he has proven himself to be just a major dick hole over the years. Yeah, Trump could almost drink some weight gain for a thousand. The shade of it all. <laughs> but then again, it's the truth. Yeah. Oh, I'm just realizing you're trampoline. That was actually, I actually didn't find out until recently. Well, actually, my parents, I think, told me that it was a birthday gift, but I've always sort of assumed it was a gift for the family. Like, when I was a kid, I always 
yeah, I liked getting gifts for myself, but I also kind of felt bad for Owen and Sarah, because, like, like, Owen's birthday is until November, and yeah. by the time his birthday rolls around, you can't really go outside and swim. So, or, or go on a trampoline. I mean, or, like, with Sarah, I mean, well, her birthday's closer to summer, well, it's March, but still sometimes it can get kind of colder, so... I've always liked my birthday, because it was kind of, like, in between. I mean, it depends on how the weather is. I mean, there were times when my birthday was on, like, a rainy day or a really sunny day. I'm trying to remember what... My birthday was... A, yeah, it was a pretty sunny day for my birthday. Oh, it was. Remember, because I came. Uh, remember? You're sweet. <laughs> Me my mom, we had to. It was your special present. Your special present, of course, was for you to meet my mom for the first time. Your mom reminds me of someone. I just can't remember who. Yeah? Yeah, like, she looks like this actress the other day. I like. I remember when I first met her, I thought, okay, she looks exactly like this actress that I saw, like, in movies and stuff. It's weird. I, I might have to see another picture for her to kind of, like, get my memory jump-started, but she looked really... Cause she kind of looked like that to me. Yeah, well, she is a good person. Don't get me wrong. I do have a good mother. Yeah. But, she definitely raised you, right? Yeah. And that picture... Oh, don't ever throw that picture away. The one with your um, ice cream cake. The one I was just like... <laughs> I'm so hungry. Save me most of that cake, please. You are a cake addict. <laughs> well, I know you are. I am a whore for anything sugary, really. I know. But I also try not to. I mean, like, today, I mean, I actually... I actually... Oh, hey, Mom. Hey. What's up? Oh, you guys Kim? are videoing? Yeah. There's Kim. <laughs> Hi. Is it almost dinner? Or? Not yet. No. Soon. Another 15 minutes. Okay. Just talking. Yes. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's just so weird because you guys are like in not like all my spaces. Like I'm usually up here and you're usually downstairs. <laughs> and I'm like all discombobulated. Yeah. Like that's actually a word I no, I actually don't hear a lot of, but I like. That's okay. Oh, I got a curious question to ask you, Kim. What? Do you think you're actually smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> I like to think I am, Matthew, but honestly, Perfect. yes, I am. Well, yeah. guess what? Well, I brought, have you ever heard of that TV show, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Is that a Judy Bloom book? No, oh, Jeff Foxworthy. That's Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing. <laughs> I didn't like that book series. Jeff, Fox, Jeff Foxworthy hosts the show. Oh, God, Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> I have the Shoot Wii. Shoot me now. I, I, brought, I brought that Wii game over to, with me, too. And I'm thinking, maybe we need to challenge you tonight. Mm, are you up for the challenge? We'll see. We're also talking about maybe later on in the summer, maybe one of those days we can maybe go swimming somewhere. Yeah. If only if I had a swimsuit. There's lots of stories. We can both pick one out because I, I know I am definitely in Do you like swimming, one. Matthew? Man, I'll tell you, I haven't gone swimming in five years. Um, do you think that's crazy? You, or? Know what I, you know what I think you guys should do this summer? What? I think you guys should pitch a tent and camp out in the backyard. That'd be fun. Mm. It's like Brookback Mountain. <laughs> hey, Kim, video. I'll tell you a redneck word. What? Are you, are you ready? Sure. So, actually, one of my coworkers that works in my company that I work with, Lowe's. Mm -hmm. There's um, this this woman whose name is Yuka. And guess what? That is a redneck word. Yuka. One time, one night, I was going to, um, I was in the receiving area and I noticed her just returning an empty pile. And I was like, Yuka, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. I was like, just dropping this off. I'm like, you could go back to the paint desk. I'll take care of it. <laughs> Did you get it? That's you a redneck that's word. That's funny. That's awesome. Yuka. That, it means you can go <laughs> is back. Her, is her last name Laylee? Yuka Laylee? <laughs> no, 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 no. No. That would be really No, good. I can't remember where she was from. She was from another country. I just can't remember which one. <laughs> There's actually an Animal Crossing character named Yuka. It's a koala, so it makes sense. That's funny. I haven't played Animal Crossing in so long. I, I just had oh, to. Did you, did you used to play Animal Crossing? I have Animal Crossing City Folk, but I'm almost going to sell it. Oh, wow. Yeah, my kids we haven't played it in so long. No, nothing wrong with starting over. <laughs> but you yeah, I play it every single day. I don't play my Animal Crossing New Leaf every single... I mean, I mean, like, before... like I think it was, like, just when we... I started, I started so many towns over and over again. 
Yeah. And this is me being really anal because I, if two stores, let's say, like, if, let's say if they showed you the map, because on New Leaf, they will show you the map, and oftentimes you can, and with that game, you can actually check to make sure the map you want. If you don't like it, you can pick another one. But if you pick all the ones that Rover the Cat, ironically named, uh, gives, he'll give you a certain amount of maps, and you can pick whatever one. Uh, but there have been times when I've been so when I didn't like any of them, so I would just power the game off and start again. <laughs> uh, and so far, my game, the way that my game is, I don't play it as much just because I. Here, say hi to Lee. Mm. How are you doing, Lee? Hi. Hey, Adam. I'm vlogging here, Lee, but it's Matthew here. <laughs> the, <laughs> <laughs> Lee is Kim's <laughs> boyfriend. Yep. And they and he lives. He lives in Ottawa. 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 Yeah. yeah. We went to high school together. All the, the memories. He, he was the Fonzie. She was the Joni. The Joni. It's an older TV show. Joni loves child. Like, Happy Days. It's something that our parents used. To, well, maybe not parents. When they well, maybe parents. They used to watch a long time ago. Guess what time it is. It's time to challenge Kim on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Here we go. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jeff Foxworthy. It's time to play <laughs> Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Okay, let me tell you how this works. On the board are 10 subjects. They range in difficulty from first grade to fifth grade. You can pick them in any order you want. The first grade questions are worth $500. Fifth grade questions are worth $5,000. If you miss a question, you'll drop down to $0, but you can build your cash back up from there. After you've answered all 10 questions, you can take whatever money you've got and walk away, or you can risk it all by answering the bonus question. If you get that one right, you're going to walk out of here with 10 times the amount of money you've made so if you get all 10 questions right and then get the bonus question right, you'll win $250,000. Let me tell you how your classmates can help you. You have two cheats. You may pick at your classmates' paper. If you like their answer, you can go with it, or you can go with your own. You have one copy, which means you must take the answer that your classmate has written down. And once during the game, they can save you which means if you have the wrong answer, but your classmate has the right answer, you're saved, you get to keep the money and advance in the game. And finally, if at any point during the test it proves to be too much, you can drop out of school and take the money that you bankrolled. You're not dropping out. You're no dropping out. <laughs> you're not allowed to drop out. That's cheating. Uh, let's go for one random person. Do you want to sit here, hon? Would it be better? Yeah, sure. Here, so. I'll, I'll move. I'm going to sit over here because then I can concentrate. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Much better. Sorry about the displacement. Alrighty. Is Definitely Kim's... spelling. You, you, you want to do spelling? Totally. And also keep in mind, we see here classmates' favorites. Art and music. That's they could probably they would probably know answers from that too. Unless you're really good at spelling, let's do it. I'm very good at spelling. Okay, this is too damn easy. Which of these words is misspelled? Uh, I think in this one. I already know what it was. Though. With, lock it in. Generated is correct. Yeah, gener gravitational. I don't oh, know. actually, hold it. Millennium is wrong. It should have M E L L, not M I L L. Millennium. Yeah, millennium. Oh, yeah, millennium. Yeah. Now, yeah. Here we go. I don't know what took you so long, but you did manage to come what up with the What was the radius right for that? M E L L I N. I U M. Okay, don't don't help me anymore. 
Okay, where do you want to go? Uh, let's go math. You want to you go fifth grade, Sal, huh? Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet. Fifty seven is a prime number. <laughs> yes, true. True. Okay. Now's the That is not correct. <laughs> Look at you crying. <laughs> I think that's just pixels. Let's see if you got it right. There are some questions. Oh, they didn't save you. So, yeah, you lost a little money. What's the correct answer? False, duh. One more subject up there. So oh, great. Go. U.S. geography, my favorite. Which, oh, okay, well that's easy. Uh, Are you sure uh, it's easy? Okay, wait. West Coast. Okay, wait. In her journeys, because it's not on the West Coast, which of the following states will Jenny not visit? Nevada. Alright, if you're confident, if you get this wrong, you're flunked out of school. Let's do it. You looked a little uncertain about that one, but you got the right answer. Maybe you were smart. We'll see. <laughs> now here's the last question. So it's a music one. For if, if you get this one right, you win fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. What Australian musical instrument is made from a slat of wood and a long cord? And then whirled around the head, making a vibrato sound. I already know this one. Uh, don't tell me. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm telling you. <laughs> yes, Finning. Oh, what the hell do you call You're a genius of everything. It's called, uh, it's called, um, oh. Oh my god, I'm so, I need to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> you that flirt. You got this, Kim. I already know it. <laughs> That's a big challenge. At least there's no timer on it. That's a good thing. Weird bird. Done. This is what it sounds like. Yeah. It's really? Eileen, um, Eileen, um, Lyonis' funeral. It was beautiful. Alright, ready? Whose yeah. funeral? Grandma's best friend, Eileen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I Do I remember her? There you go. No. Oh, okay. You ready? <laughs> it sounds like you just beeped in a bunch of random numbers. No! What? Okay, I swear that was not on me. That's all she wrote, partner. You just flunked out. What the hell was the answer? I You'll see in a sec. What? Show us the I swear if it's rain stick, I'm just. It's violin. Oh, no way, I don't know. I don't even know what that is. Oh. Uh, that you are not smarter than a fifth grader. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you typed in a number at a Japanese ATM. Bye bye, everybody. Okay, let's play again. Look at this, Linden. All right, girls, now we all want you to have a good time. He's sure been purring on us, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he should. Aw. He's a she. Whoops. I keep forgetting that. Do I need to tattoo her gender symbol to your wrist? <laughs> uh, no. I'm just kidding. Such a good cat. I love her. Yeah. Overall, did you have a good time? Yeah, I had a really good time. I wish we could have done more too, but yeah. At least we went on a good walk yesterday. So. And I guess we're watching we're watching South Park. I guess so. It's on the iPad. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, this is from Crave TV, by the way. Adam has it on his iPad. Aww. Cat love. <laughs> what are you trying to do there, Lyndon, huh? Hmm? I'll catch you two later. <laughs> See y'all later, folks.